Take one. I really don't think anybody wants to see this. No, I do. What's going on? What's going on here? We're doing a TV show, remember? Let me show you. That pill that solves everything. Antibiotics. We didn't have that, okay? No, we may be pushing our luck at this point. Is love. This summer, this summer mood. I suppose you've been waiting for this moment for quite a while, haven't you? Oh, would you like a bite? I'd love some expired, way too hot New England clam chowder. I love a good mouth scalding. Dear sweet mother of God. It's a priest! Unbelievable. goes to and the emmy goes to and the emmy 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 goes to pretty good pretty pretty good please welcome your host for thursday's 2020 creative arts emmy awards she's an actress comedian writer and the emmy nominated host of netflix's nailed it here is nicole byer welcome to tonight four of the 2020 creative arts emmy if you've been watching me all week, oh, you know you're gonna see a lot more great television work. If this is your first time tuning in, how dare you? I deserve all the eyeballs on me. I am an Emmy nominated host. Tonight we honor not just craftspeople below the line, but we also recognize some on-screen talent. Speaking of talent, if you were lucky enough to see Hamilton in the theater or streaming on Disney+, Plus, you know how amazing our first presenter is. Please extend your virtual applause to a nominee tonight, Mr. Leslie Odom Jr. Why yes, hello, good evening. My name is Leslie Odom Jr. and I am here to audition for the role of Outstanding Emmy Presenter for Casting in a Comedy Series. My special skills are reading from a teleprompter, light banter, and creating suspense. Let me just take a moment to prepare. And now, please join me in viewing these, the nominees for Outstanding Casting in a Comedy Series. The casting teams from Curb Your Enthusiasm. What, I, I didn't what did you do? Oh, she spun the thing? thing around like that. You did. I don't give a shit. I want you out. Dead to me. Steve has a twin brother. He does. You do. Steve has an identical twin brother. They're not, not actually identical. Oh. Semi identical. Semi identical. Oh, you're semi identical. Insecure. Just push down on the brake. It's a red light. I can only stop at designated drop-off points, ma'am. Can this be one of them? This old Ozzy Davis has nothing. Sticks and stones. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Excuse me, moms. I mean, Mrs. Mrs. Moms, Miss Moms, Moms, Bailey, Bailey. I don't know what to call you, but I am a, a really big fan. A really big fan might know what to call me. Shit's Creek. Clifton. Muffy, looking luscious as always. Oh, had I known you were both coming, I'd have dressed for the occasion. What we do in the shadows. We've been through about six, no, seven familiars this year. Seven? Yeah, I remember Joey. No, my dear, I'm not that familiar. <laughs> and the Emmy goes to... Shit's Creek. Wow, this is like a dream. I can't believe it. I want to thank everyone at CBC, at Pop TV, my amazing cast, but Eugene Levy and Daniel Levy, thank you for having the faith in me to cast this most amazing show. And now Lisa, my partner, would like to say a few words. An Emmy, wow, I can hardly believe it. I just want to say thank you so much to Dan and Eugene for everything and to the spectacular cast of Schitt's Creek. You guys really are magic. 
Hark, hark. Who are those among us nominated for outstanding casting for a drama series? Show yourselves. The casting teams from Big Little Lies. She's not well. All right. Sure. This is, this is at the time, Mrs. Stop? Wright. Well, that you understand. This is not a case of an angry mother-in-law on the loose or something. The Crown. The rock upon which any enduring marriage must surely be founded. A network of brothers, sisters, mothers, and fathers. The Handmaid's Tale. Sinner, 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 sinner. And to refuse God's blessings of a child is among the gravest of sins. Killing Eve. Welcome home, Oksana. I've never actually lived here. Welcome, Welcome home. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> I'll go along with it for the sake of the moment. Ozark. Don't you look at me with that blade on your face. I've spent my whole life protecting him. This is yours. You did this. Succession. Well, this this isn't really for us to discuss here, surely. Well, I think I've explained. Uh, there's a limit to our patience. Logan, I think perhaps we're not going to agree to anything over watermelon. Well, what's it going to take? And the Emmy goes to... Succession. Big surprise. Couldn't be more honored to receive this acknowledgement. Thank you, Jesse Armstrong, for letting us all live in this insightful and insane world for an hour each week and including us in this amazing Succession family. We adore working with the inspiring team, Jesse Armstrong, Scott Ferguson, Mark Mylod, Frank Rich, Kevin Missick, Adam McKay, and HBO. Could not have been more proud of the work we did on season two of Succession and must thank Harrison Nesbitt, my associate, who I could not do without. Francie Maisler for assembling a great family, and we share this with the other casting directors who are amazing, David, Alexa, Gilly, Suzanne, Nina, Robert, Sharon, Sherry, Russell, and Robin. Thank you for voting for me, and thank you for, thank you. Uh, let's all vote in November. And now, the nominees for Outstanding Short Form Comedy or Drama Series. Better Call Saul Employee Training, Legal Ethics with Kim Wexler. The Good Place presents The Selection. What if I got a baby for the table? Table baby? Would you guys have some table baby? I'd love some expired, way too hot New England clam chowder. I love a good mouth scalding. Most dangerous game. For a grand total of $24.5 million. Here's exactly why you'll be great at this game. Smart, athletic, you know the terrain better than the hunters. You can pull this off. Reno 911. She was a great lady and she, um, started a <laughs> an after-school program for homeless children. And, uh, she uh, donated uh, books. Donated uh, people in need. Uh, Star Trek Short Treks. Computer Illuminate. Sometimes I just feel like it's you, me, and Mommy out here in the middle of all this nothing, and it's going to eat us. And the Emmy goes to... Better Call Saul Employee Training. Legal Ethics with Kim Wexler. Holy crap, thank you to the Academy for this incredible honor. Thanks to all the amazing people who worked on this project. Teamwork makes the dream work. Special thanks to Allie and Kevin at AMC. To the fabulous folks at Better Call Saul, Melissa Bernstein, Peter Goulds, and Vince Gilligan. James Heth and the team at Bacon and & Sons, and of course, animator Jay Marks, who crushed it again. To the marvelous Ray Seahorn, you are the heart and soul of any project you're a part of. Finally, my family, thank you for forgiving me when I forgot to thank you last time. And extra thanks to my partner, Johnny Gomez, and my family as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Wanda Sykes. If you have a short attention span, boy, do I have the category for you. Did I leave the stove on? Oh, OK. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Short Form Animated Program. Forky asks a question. 
What is love? Melvin Brooks, Carl Rhinoceros, and Cheryl Burnett. Forky, let me start. I know everything there is to know about love. Wow. Do not be afraid to ask me anything at all about love. Perfect. All right, go ahead. How do you know if you're in love? No idea. Anyone. Robot Chicken, Santa's Dead, Spoiler Alert, Holiday Murder Thing Special. You see, he wants us bigger and stronger because there's more and more people in the world, which means more presents and a heavier sled. You know, I think I'm okay today if you don't want to <laughs> You've never seen what that juice can do. That's how we lost Prancer. <laughs> yep, that's a reason to kill Santa for sure. Steven Universe Future, Fragments. <laughs> Hmm, not bad for three days of work. I didn't teach you that. And the Emmy goes to... Forky asks a question. What is love? Thank you, Television Academy, for this great honor. Bob and I partnered with the crew of Pixar's best and brightest. So we share this honor with Team Forky Shorts along with everyone at Disney+. Plus. And we were blessed with a great cast. Tony Hale is always hilarious. And then we got to work with comedic geniuses, Carol Burnett, Betty White, Mel Brooks, and the late, great Carl Reiner. So much fun. And to our families, your love and support made this possible. Family is everything. Thank you guys so much. Due to our nationwide quarantine, Americans have been watching even more television. With the spread of coronavirus, viewership is up 81%. That's nearly 4 billion more hours per week. Our industry became what some might call an essential service. And while it's not COVID proof, it did become COVID resistant. And those who were still working had to adapt. The late night talk shows led the way for this new normal. This is the Daily Social Distancing Show with Trevor Noah. Scientists, we need you focused on the pandemic. No Mars until you finish your corona. You finish your corona, scientists. Uh, I'm in a room in my, in my house. Uh, my camera operator is my wife. Hi. The government is now saying this could last 18 months or longer, which I am not sure how many rolls of toilet paper that is, but I know I don't have them. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I literally just ate a bug. And while watching television can easily be considered a pretty solidary activity, we were all brought together in this pandemic by shows that celebrated those heroes fighting this insidious and infectious disease on the front lines while simultaneously raising hundreds of millions of dollars to help in that fight. Wherever you're watching, tonight we are thanking first responders and others on the front lines of this global pandemic. We can still eat and laugh and reflect, and we can do all that while raising much needed funds for the CDC foundations. We also want to raise some money for the charities out there that are doing critical work, like Feeding America and the First Responders Children's Foundation. Throughout the pandemic, the television industry has shown that no matter the obstacles, the show must go on. We will always find a way to produce outstanding programming, and the Emmys will always be here to honor it. Please welcome comedian and star of Mr. Iglesias on Netflix, it's Gabriel Iglesias. Hey everyone, it's me, Fluffy here, and uh, I'm very excited to present two awards for interactive programming. If you'd like to see the nominees, please swipe right on your screen. I'll give you a minute. Well, if you swipe right on your television screen, congratulations. You're going to need some Windex. <laughs> we have a lot of fun here at the Television Academy, don't we? Here are the nominees for Outstanding Derivative Interactive Program. Big Mouth Guide to Life. It means a lot to me because it helped me with my sexuality. And the fact that I came out as bi. I'm growing comfortable in my own skin. It explains a lot of really good things. It helped me feel more comfortable talking about those topics. Doctor Who, The Runaway. This is the special Positron Undercover Death Squad. Cooperate, or there will be serious consequences. It's a special Positron Undercover Death Squad. Spuds, they hunt down and destroy anyone or anything that threatens the stability of the universe. And the Emmy goes to... Big Mouth Guide to Life. 
we want to say a huge thank you to the Television Academy for presenting us with this amazing award. With so much media conversation focusing on the negative side of social media, the response to the Guide to Life highlights its immense capacity to act as a force for good. Thank you to all of our teams at Netflix, Social Life, and of course, everyone in the Big Mouth family, especially our friends, Nick Kroll, Andrew Goldberg, Mark Levin, and Jen Flackett. Thank you for trusting us and allowing us to take these characters to whole new dimensions. And of course, thank you so much to the Big Mouth fans who have been so passionate with their love and support for this sweet and horny little show. We wouldn't be here without your support. And now here are the nominees for Outstanding Original Interactive Program. The Messy Truth VR Experience. The episode puts you in the shoes of a 12-year-old African-American boy in the car with your dad, pulled over and harassed by the police. I'm more interested in white America seeing it. Rebuilding Notre Dame. This work really is a prowess. Notre Dame has become a magnet that attracts tourists from all over the world as soon as they arrive in Paris. When we stayed home, all over the world, countries closed their boundaries to face the worst epidemics of the century. Everywhere, citizens were asked to stay home, leaving the streets empty. And the Emmy goes to... The Messy Truth VR Experience. Hey, that's awesome. We are very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you to the Television Academy for honoring and acknowledging this project. Uh, we've been trying to use technology to bring people together rather than pulling people apart. So that's what this is all about. We have been working on this for a long time. And now to actually have something that can live on as a curriculum for empathy in virtual reality, that's been our goal from the beginning. We dedicate this to all the people who've been marching for justice all around the world. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you. Life can throw you a curve. Send you down an unexpected path. But navigating the rocky moments is part of the adventure to help you discover what's been missing. Mandy! Why did you run off? <laughs> Introducing the 2021 Telluride Nightfall Edition. Please welcome Erin Moriarty. Hello, Creative Arts Emmys. I'm Erin Moriarty, but you may know me as Starlight from the superhero series, The Boys. Starlight is a badass. In an early episode, we learned that Starlight's workout consists of punching holes in brick walls, executing one-armed chin-ups, and powerlifting the back end of a sedan. What really sells these insane feats of strength is the accompanying soundtrack, Barracuda by Heart. With Ann Wilson's belligerent vocals and Nancy Wilson's Take No Prisoners guitar, there is no better piece of music to underscore a powerful woman's daily routine. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Music Supervision. The music supervision teams from Better Call Saul, the guy for this. Euphoria and Salt the Earth Behind You. Insecure, low-key moving on. Killing Eve, meetings have biscuits. <laughs> the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, it's comedy or cabbage. There were bells on the hill, but I never heard them ringing. Stranger Things, Chapter 3, The Case of the Missing Lifeguard. Janet? 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 Watchmen, this extraordinary being. I don't want to set the world on fire. I... And 
And the Emmy goes to... The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. It's comedy or cabbage. Thank you so much. Amy, Dan, and I would like to thank the Academy and our peers. We are so grateful and honored to have won this award. Um, we have the best, best music team. Stuart Larman, Matt Shapiro, Annette Kudrick, Darius DeHaz, the voice of Shy, Tom Miser, and Curtis Moore, who brought us these fabulous songs this season, and Leroy McLean, who brought all the music to life. Thank you so much. We're so appreciative. Stay safe. Congratulations. And now for possibly the longest category title of the entire evening. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Music Composition for a limited series, movie, or special original dramatic score. Nathan Barr, Hollywood. Hooray for Hollywood, part two. The land is our life. And it's better to go south or die walking than to give it to you for nothing. Mark Isham and Isabella Summers. Little fires everywhere. The spider web. Chris Bowers, Mrs. America, Reagan. What will keep us going is the revelation of what we can be, what the people around us can be without the crippling walls and prisons into which we have been forced. Antonio Gambole, Unorthodox, part one. Go the long way around Williamsburg, please. It's deep. It's deep. Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. Watchmen, it's summer and we're running out of ice. And the Emmy goes to... Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. Watchmen, it's summer and we're running out of ice. I'd like to thank the Television Academy for the recognition. It means a lot to us and we truly appreciate it. We're very proud to be involved with a show that's relevant, smart, and daring. We were changed and affected by working on this and it's great to see it resonate with the world at large. Thank you, Damon Lindelof, for assembling such a talented group of collaborators and providing us such a broad canvas to paint on. And lastly, thanks very much to our families for tolerating us spending some long weeks and months in this cave. We love you. And thank you. All Emmy nominees and winners were voted on by members of the Television Academy. The voting process was overseen by the accounting firm of Ernst & Young LLP, who have taken their security measures to a whole new level. Here are partners Paul Chen, Suzanne DeYoung, and Andy Sale. Even in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, winners are known only by Ernst & Young until they are revealed to the director of tonight's show as it is airing. Thank you, Ernst & Young, for your service. The foundation is really helping to change what the landscape of TV looks like. There's a shift now in the kinds of stories that are being allowed to be told. The Television Academy Foundation is helping to amplify those voices. This internship program changed my life and made me realize that I can be the next Shonda Rhimes, maybe. Different ethnicities, different backgrounds, and it's amazing. You're just bringing something new to the industry. It really set me up for success uh, in my career. I don't remember this ever happening. You know, sitting down and having this kind of conversation about Latinos or the Latinx experience in Hollywood. The things that we're beginning to do on Grey's Anatomy is say, please submit actors with disabilities. Why are we only seeing able-bodied people? There's nothing about this patient who says he can't be deaf. We're illustrating this idea that we are indeed everywhere, even on TV. Every piece of information that we get is taken back to the classroom. The session with the women directors was amazing. All the access that we've had to these people has just been eye-opening for me. I've always loved the interviews. To have them chronicled and to have their 
essence on tape and on film for future generations, I think is fantastic. Your legacy matters a bit. To sit here and imagine somebody watching this in 50 years is kind of interesting. This is for all the women in animation that have finally made it. This award means so much to us, but not just us, but also the LGBT community. Thank you to the Television Academy Foundation. I just love the Television Academy Foundation reaches back and anoints the next generation. It was a 20-year-old kid, and I was sitting in rooms with Barry Diller. Who else gives you a chance like that? I absolutely owe my career to the internship program. I wouldn't be here today. Uh, thank you, Academy. It's been a great 21 years. Thank you. I'm Cheryl Burke, and I'm here to present two juried Emmy Awards, which are awards that a special panel of Television Academy voting members from a specialized peer group decided on the award, and it can be awarded to more than one submission. It can even be awarded to no one, and that's how much power they have. They're like Greek gods or something. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before one of the peer groups gives me one, right? Well, while I wait, here is the first of the juried awards outstanding choreography for scripted programming. And the Emmy goes to Mandy Moore, choreographer. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Routines, All I Do Is Win. I've Got the Music In Me. Crazy. Thank you so much to our showrunner and creator, Austin Winsberg, director Richard, Team Strongarm Forever, John Turtletaub, thank you. To my team, Jillian and Jeff, love you guys very much. Jane Levy, you're a star. Thank you to you and the entire cast of Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Our DP Shasta, Steady Cam Bradley, NBC Lionsgate, my mom, my dad, my sis, and all my peers who voted for me. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mandy Moore, on your third Emmy. Okay, so next up, Outstanding Innovation and in Interactive Programming. The Emmy goes to Create Together. All right, I want to thank everyone on the Hit Record team, YouTube Originals, Brian Gray to Media, Sam Wasserman, but most of all, over 7,000 people from 189 different countries collaborated with us and with each other to make this show. I want to thank each and every one of you. I love our community. Thank you. The Emmy also goes to The Line. We would like to thank the Academy for this incredible honor. When we started Adwari, we dreamed that we could put Brazilian creativity and next generation technology together to create amazing new worlds. This award validates all our hard work and dedication to that vision. From the team at Adwari, obrigado. And now for two more juried awards. Well, hello everyone. I'm Monica Aldama, the hardworking cheer coach of Navarro College as featured on the Netflix series Cheer. But right now, I'm just over here taking it easy. That's because the two awards I'm presenting tonight are already wrapped up, signed, sealed, and delivered. A special panel from the Television Academy decided on the award, and the winners already know they've won. There's basically no work for me to do. First up, let's take a look at Outstanding Individual Achievement in Animation. And the Emmys go to Jill Dykeshorn, Archer, Road Trip. Thank you to the Academy. I couldn't have done it without the combined effort of all the teams at Floyd County Productions. I also want to thank my family, my friends, and my lovely girlfriend for all their love and support throughout the years. It's a great honor and thank you once more. Dan McKenzie, Cosmos, Possible Worlds, Vavilov. Thank you to the jury members in the Television Academy. Thank you, Andrew and the whole Cosmos team. Thank you, Starburns, James Fino, David Gioca, Director Duke Johnson, Eileen Barmar, Joe John, and the animators Molly, Joe, Tucker, Ejo, Michael, Toons, and Hillary. Thank you, Mom, Dad, and Allison, and to Hal, Sablin, and Brad. Thank you for my growth. Gandhi Tartakovsky, storyboard artist. Gandhi Tartakovsky's Primal, Spear and Fang. Hi. I just want to thank uh, Mike Lazo at Adult Swim for always supporting and trusting me, especially on this project. I want to thank my wife and my kids for understanding how much I work and uh, letting me work so much. And uh, Brian Miller at Cartoon Network for also supporting me. And thank you, I appreciate it. Scott Wills, art director. Gandhi Tartakovsky's Primal, Spear and Bang. Thank you, Academy. Big thank you to Adult Swim and Mike Lazo and Sharina and Victoria and Studio Lacachette in Paris, and of course, Gindy Tartakovsky. Thank you. Steven DeStefano, character designer. Gindy Tartakovsky's Primal, a 
cold death. I'm extremely pleased and proud to accept this award. Uh, it's been a real shot in the arm for me during our pandemic year. Of course, I'd like to thank uh, Serena Carlson, Scott Wells, and Gendy Tartakovsky for allowing me to be part of their team. Congratulations. And now, let's see what we have for outstanding motion design. And the Emmy goes to Inside Bill's Brain, Decoding Bill Gates. It's going to be interesting for our first live show via Skype, Zoom, Reel, to try to pull this off with social distancing. I can't be in the booth. I haven't slept in a month worrying about this, but come on along. Let's see how we do it. Never thought I'd see a day where this lot is this empty. Mike the Medic. Good morning, sir. How are you? Excellent. How are you today? I'm going to take my temperature, are you? This is stage 23, huge stage. Usually we'd build a set in here. Instead, this is our control room. This is where I sit. I direct the show from here. There's 23 Skypes up there. My AD, associate director, who usually sits right next to me, is way over there. So this is distancing at its finest. That's headsets. That's the lighting designer. That's more lights over there. Video control, and this is the IT guy, very important. Hand washing stations everywhere. Okay, this is outside the stage. There are two TV trucks. This one only has one person in it, my technical director. That one has two people in it. There's a divider in the middle, so you can put two people in that one. And this is the audio truck. There's one person in that. Roll it. This week's issue of People Magazine is filled with insider celebrity exclusives, royal news you won't find anywhere else, stories of real people doing extraordinary things, plus so much more. Get it on newsstands now or save big and get free home delivery at peoplemagazine.com slash TV. Hey there, Internet people. I'm Jeff Bridges, and you can see me real soon on the new FX series, The Old Man. I've been working as an actor since I was a little kid, and I love it. But my other creative love, my creative side piece, if you will, is music. Uh, as a matter of fact, I did a whole movie about it called Crazy Heart. And that's why I'm honored to present the Emmy for Outstanding Original Music and Lyrics. Here are the nominees. The teams from The Black Godfather, song title, Letter to My Godfather. Euphoria and Salt the Earth Behind You. Song title, All For Us. Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, episode 629. Song title, Eat Shit, Bob. We made up these anecdotes, they're silly and insane. Little fires everywhere. Find a way. Song title, Build It Up. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Strike Up the Band. Song title, One Less Angel. This is us, strangers. Song title, Memorized. I found my way, I found my way to you. I found my way, I found my way to you. Watchmen, this extraordinary being. 
Song title, The Way It Used To Be. And the Emmy goes to... Euphoria and Salt the Earth Behind You. Song title, All For Us. Wow, this is an incredible moment for me, so thank you so much. Um, I'd like to uh, thank Sam Levingston for giving me this opportunity, the incredible editors at Euphoria. There was much part of this score as I was. I'd like to thank my incredible collaborator, Zendaya. She exceeded my expectations and totally took this record to a whole new level. My incredible wife, uh, Muz, uh, Jamie Binns, Adam Liebar, Sophia Gold, Chrissy Verratti, Gustav Rudiman, and anybody that's loved the record and supported the record. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And now on to outstanding original main title theme music. Here are the nominees. Nathan Barr, Carnival Row. Oliver Arnold's Defending Jacob. Nathan Barr, Hollywood. Antonio Gambolle, Unorthodox. <music> Laura Cartman, Why We Hate. Rizza, Wu Tang, an American saga. And the Emmy goes to Nathan Barr, Hollywood. Thank you so much to the Television Academy for this incredible honor. Uh, I'm humbled to be in the company of so many other wonderful composers. Especially thank you to Netflix, to Ryan Murphy, Ian Brennan, and Alexis Woodall for asking me to be a part of Hollywood. Uh, there are so many main titles growing up that I associate with my childhood, and so this is especially special for me tonight. Thank you also to my team, Rich Jacobellis at Fortress, to Dimitri Smith, Kyle Rodriguez, and Harry Rosolio.
He's nominated for his role in the limited series Hollywood. Here's Dylan McDermott. Hey, I'm Dylan McDermott, and I'm proud to say as an actor, I, um, I've done my own stunts. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I also, you know, have a stunt double. I mean, I'm not TC. That's Tom Cruise for people in the biz and the know. But I am five inches taller than he is. Anyway, here are the nominees for Outstanding Stunt Coordination for a Comedy Series or Variety Program. Jeff Barnett, Ballers. Norman Howe, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Vince Dedrick Jr., Henry Danger. Eddie Perez, Shameless. Eric Sulky, Space Force. And the Emmy goes to... Eddie Perez, Shameless. I'd like to thank all the performers both here and in Chicago for all the great work they've done. To John and Nancy for the great writing that allows us to create the great stunts on the show. To Joy and Ned for the support they've given our crew during this time. To Michael Hesrick, Anthony Labou, and Alex for the years of support. To David Nevins, Austin, Sarah, and Michelle at Showtime. Thank you. On behalf of the Sun Committee, I'd like to thank the TV Academy for acknowledging our work. I'm honored to have been a part of the show, and I accept this on behalf of the stunt crew. Thank you. Now, on to Outstanding Character Voiceover Performance. Here are the nominees. Maya Rudolph as Connie the Hormone Monstrous. Big Mouth, How to Have an Orgasm. Ew, that sounds like work. <gasps> Look over there. Leslie Odom Jr. as Owen, Central Park, Episode 1. Yes, I know my voice sounds weird right now, but it's because I'm angry. Wanda Sykes as Gladys, Crank Yankers, Bobby Brown, Wanda Sykes, and Kathy Griffin. <laughs> yeah, if you get a whiff of gin, that's him. Taika Watiti as IG-11, The Mandalorian, Chapter 8, Redemption. And you will live, and I will have served my purpose. Nancy Cartwright as Bart Simpson, Nelson, Ralph, Todd. The Simpsons, better off Ned. There's a doctor for your teeth? Mm-hmm. Wow. Hank Azaria as Professor Frank, Moe, Chief Wiggum, Carl, Cletus, Kirk, Sea Captain, The Simpsons, Frank Corn. Ask me to buy your drink. I'm hanging with the Frank. And the Emmy goes to... Maya Rudolph as Connie the Hormone Monstrous. Big Mouth, How to Have an Orgasm. The Academy accepts the Emmy on their behalf. Hey there, beloved, it's me again, Lamorne Morris. Now, on my new show, Woke, on Hulu, which has already been classified as a smash hit, that's just what the world is saying, I play a cartoonist. So basically that means I am a pioneer, a trailblazer, a uh, master OG of the entertainment movement, if you will. So that's the only reason why I'm here today to present the nominees for Outstanding Actor in a short form comedy or drama series. Lawrence Fishburne as Lieutenant Stephen Ponce. Hashtag Free Ray Sean. My wife, my son shouldn't have to dodge bullets. No, they shouldn't. Came up here to try and help you with that. But what you doing about it? Stefan James as Ray Sean. Hashtag Free Ray Sean. Anyone picking this up? I'm at 108 OC Haley, Unit 403. I'm in here with my wife and my five year old son. My family. My family is about to be attacked by the police. Christoph Waltz as Miles Seller. Most dangerous game. In my experience, it's best if I talk for a while and you just listen with an open mind. Can you do that for the Dodge? So, here's how you'll be hunting. Mamadou Ache as Jerome. Oh, Jerome, no. You know that song, Party Song, you never heard? You know, uh, <laughs> what about, um, the, that, uh, uh, I, I just really like to party. What? <laughs> 
Corey Hawkins as Paul survive. Jane, Jane. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Look at me. I got you, okay? I got you. You can do it. You can do it. I got you. And the Emmy goes to... Lawrence Fishburne as Lieutenant Stephen Ponce. Hashtag free Ray Sean. Good evening. And first, let me say thank you to all the members of the Academy. Uh, my thanks to Antoine Fuqua, Jeffrey Katzenberg, Seath Mann, David Borstein, Mark Marino, and Michael Martin. My fellow castmates, Stefan, Jasmine, Skeet, Thomas, and Nikoi, Daniel and Danny, Brandon, Annabeth, Alicia, Anna, and the rest of our wonderful cast, to our crew, and to the city and the people of New Orleans, my incredible team, Helen, Sam, Gregory, Jeffrey, Nina, Andrew, and Bruce. Peace and blessings to all of you, and thank you so much. Good night. Congratulations, beloved. This is uh, it's all that you wanted, you know? This is a big deal for you. I've never been nominated, but... It's all good. Um, here are the nominees for Outstanding Actress in a Short Form Comedy or Drama Series. Anna Kendrick as Cody, dummy. After he threw her away last week, I, I went and I got her and I took her home, so she's living with me. And um, she talks to me. You hear the voice in your head when you're looking at the doll or is the doll? The sound comes from her um, head, from her face, you know. Caitlin Olson as Cricket Melfi. Flipped. Please listen and understand that this, this is our life's work. This is our dream. And, and if you kill us now, you'll be robbing the world of our vision. And we'll never know if our dreams were worth dying for. Jasmine Cephas Jones as Taisha. Hashtag free Ray Sean. I am not a soldier under your command, Ray. I am your wife. And I need you to talk now. What do you want me to say, huh? Tell me what you want me to say. I I'm want saying. the truth. Rain Valdez as Belle Jonas, Razor Tongue. I mean, I am a smart girl with a extensive list of work experience interviewing for a thankless job I can do with my eyes closed. And the least you can do is ask me more appropriate questions. Carrie Kenny Silver as Deputy Trudy Weigel, Reno 911. What's going on, Judy? Oh, hey, Craig. Hey. Craig? Yeah, what's going on? Are you really here? And the Emmy goes to... Jasmine Cephas Jones as Taisha. Hashtag Free Ray Sean. As I sit here on my rooftop in the middle of Brooklyn, in the middle of a pandemic, and the social climate that we're in, I am honored and grateful to be a part of an important story that is hashtag Free Ray Sean, to be an emotional vessel um, to shed light on these victims and what their families go through. I want to thank Quibi, um, Sony Television, Antoine Fuqua, Seath Mann, Stefan James, and the, one of the greatest of all time, Lawrence Fishburne, and everybody that was a part of this project that really left a piece of themselves um, on the show. Let's vote in November and let's continue to tell these important stories. Thank you. Oh, what a wonderful week it's been streaming from the Television Academy. Hmm? What's that, Emmy? <laughs> tell them about what? The show on Saturday? Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me, girl. You look good in gold. I almost forgot. So don't you forget to tune in on Saturday night for the Creative Arts Emmy's two-hour event on FXX, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'll see you there. Okay, bye-bye.